Hello guys, a couple of weeks ago, a client hit me up to design a citation. And with this citation, I decided not to go the traditional way, but to go the modern way to make it look attractive. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how I design this citation with a modern graphic design idea to attract clients. Without wasting much time, let's jump right in. All right, so I quickly began by creating my grid guidelines. You can locate the guideline in the view tab. With the right angle tool, I created a rectangular shape. I then set its roundness to 180. I made a duplicate of it, resized, and positioned it at the bottom. I then created two additional copies of the shape. I then made sure everything aligns well and fits for the project. Then I selected all and made sure to resize it well. From here, I worked on the round corners of each of the shapes to set a value for individual corners of a particular shape. You need to unlink them. So it was time to add the colors. And I got the inspiration from EKS Designs. I really love her colors. So I picked the inspiration from EKS Designs. You can follow her on Instagram. So with this, I selected the rectangle tool and created four rectangular shapes with which I used as my color palette. With the help of the eyedropper tool, I sampled colors from her work and then used it as my color palette. I selected all the shapes, layers, and converted it to a smart object. I then renamed it to color palette. After that, I dragged it to my workspace. I resized it and placed it at the top left corner. I created a new solid color background. And quickly, I set the colors for the individual shapes. After all these, I hide the color palette and then merge the two black shapes together. Now it was time to bring in my subject. I converted it to smart objects and then brought in my subject. The subject layer should be above all the layers. So I make sure I put it above all the layers. A selection was made for the black rectangular shape and created a layer max for the subject layer. With the layer max and the help of a brush tool, I also reviewed some hidden parts of the subject because not all areas should be masked out. After this, it was time to bring in the typography. So I quickly picked the type tool, set the font and font size and then type in citation. I realized the font size was small, so I tried to increase the font size again and made the necessary adjustments. Make sure the text is aligned at center and in line with the shapes. From here, the second text was brought in, font size was set and repositioned. I realized the shapes wasn't well organized, so I made a little bit of corrections on them. I made a copy of the second text and used it for the name and position of my client. With this, I set the bold font for the name text, but to make it a little spicy, I set a regular font for the title and say name. The position of my client at work was quickly added. It's time to bring in the main message. So pick the type tool and draw a shape like this. Use the type tool to draw a shape like this. With this, you can have multiple texts which will be well aligned and also not cluttered. 
So from here, I had a challenge, which I think you might also be facing. After bringing in the text, I realized the text was behind the subject. So I picked the pen tool and created a shape like this. But instead of creating a rectangular shape, I created a curved shape over the shoulder of the subject. After creating the shape, make sure to hide the initial text and select the type tool. Click within the shape that you created and paste in your text. With this, you see that you've solved the problem of the text behind the shoulder of the subject. So I brought in another text as Aiko. Aiko is a Ghanaian language as in congratulations. So I set a font color by sampling a color from one of the shapes because we don't want too many colors. It's time for the final touches. From here, I need to make sure everything is, I need to check alignments, colors, positions, and make sure everything looks perfect. I need to set the proper font and font size. Also make sure that every text is perfectly aligned and resized. 